In mathematics, the slope or gradient of a line is a number that describes both the direction and the steepness of the line. Slope is often denoted by the letter M. There is no clear answer to the question why the letter M is used for slope, but it might be from the M for multiple in the equation of a straight line y. Topic m x plus b or y m x plus c. Slope is calculated by finding the ratio of the vertical change to the horizontal change between any two distinct points on a line. Sometimes the ratio is expressed as a quotient, rise over run, giving the same number for every two distinct points on the same line. A line that is decreasing has a negative rise. The line may be practical, as set by a road surveyor, or in a diagram that models a road or a roof either as a description or as a plan. The steepness, incline, or grade of a line is measured by the absolute value of the slope. A slope with a greater absolute value indicates a steeper line. The direction of a line is either increasing, decreasing, horizontal or vertical. A line is increasing if it goes up from left to right. The slope is positive, i.e. m greater than zero, display style m greater than zero. A line is decreasing if it goes down from left to right. The slope is negative, i.e. m0 m. If a line is horizontal the slope is zero. This is a constant function. If a line is vertical the slope is undefined see below. The rise of a road between two points is the difference between the altitude of the road at those two points, say y1 and y2, or in other words, the rise is y2 minus y1. Topic <laughs> delta y for relatively short distances, where the Earth's curvature may be neglected, the run is the difference in distance from a fixed point measured along a level, horizontal line, or in other words, the run is x2 minus x1. Delta x here the slope of the road between the two points is simply described as the ratio of the altitude change to the horizontal distance between any two points on the line. In mathematical language, the slope m of the line is m equals y 2 minus y 1 x 2 minus x 1 display style m equals frac y underscore 2 y underscore 1 x underscore 2 x underscore 1 the concept of slope applies directly to grades or gradients in geography and civil engineering. Through trigonometry, the slope m of a line is related to its angle of incline theta by the tangent function m equals tan theta display style m equals tan theta Thus, a 45 degrees rising line has a slope of plus 1 and a 45 degrees falling line has a slope of minus 1. As a generalization of this practical description, the mathematics of differential calculus defines the slope of a curve at a point as the slope of the tangent line at that point. 
When the curve is given by a series of points in a diagram or in a list of the coordinates of points, the slope may be calculated not at a point but between any two given points. When the curve is given as a continuous function, perhaps as an algebraic formula, then the differential calculus provides rules giving a formula for the slope of the curve at any point in the middle of the curve. This generalization of the concept of slope allows very complex constructions to be planned and built that go well beyond static structures that are either horizontals or verticals, but can change in time, move in curves, and change depending on the rate of change of other factors. Thereby, the simple idea of slope becomes one of the main basis of the modern world in terms of both technology and the built environment. Topic: <laughs> Definition. The slope of a line in the plane containing the x and y axes is generally represented by the letter m, and is defined as the change in the y coordinate divided by the corresponding change in the x coordinate, between two distinct points on the line. This is described by the following equation m equals delta y delta x equals vertical change horizontal change equals rise run Display style m equals frac delta y delta x equals frac text vertical text change text horizontal text change equals frac text rise text run. The Greek letter delta delta is commonly used in mathematics to mean difference or change given two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 the change in x from one to the other as x2 minus x1 run while the change in y is y2 minus y1 rise substituting both quantities into the above equation generates the formula M equals Y two minus Y one X two minus X one Display style m equals frac y underscore two y underscore one x underscore two x underscore one. The formula fails for a vertical line parallel to the y-axis. See division by zero, where the slope can be taken as infinite, so the slope of a vertical line is considered undefined. Topic Examples Suppose a line runs through two points, P topic one, two, and Q thirteen, eight. By dividing the difference in y coordinates by the difference in x coordinates, one can obtain the slope of the line m equals delta y delta x equals y two minus y one by two minus x one equals eight 
minus two thirteen minus one equals six twelve equals one two display style m equals frac delta y delta x equals frac y underscore two y underscore one x underscore two x underscore one equals frac eight to two thirteen to one equals frac six twelve equals frac one two since the slope is positive, the direction of the line is increasing. Since m m equals twenty one minus fifteen three minus four equals six minus one equals minus six. Display style m equals frac twenty one to fifteen three to four equals frac six minus one equals minus six. Since the slope is negative, the direction of the line is decreasing. Since m greater than one, this decline is fairly steep. Decline greater than forty five degrees. Topic: Algebra and geometry. If y is a linear function of x, then the coefficient of x is the slope of the line created by plotting the function. Therefore, if the equation of the line is given in the form y equals m x plus k display style y equals mx plus k then m is the slope this form of a line's equation is called the slope intercept form because k can be interpreted as the y intercept of the line that is the y coordinate where the line intersects the y axis if the slope m of a line and a point x1 y1 on the line are both known then the equation of the line can be found using the point slope formula y Minus y one equals m x minus x one display style y y underscore one equals m x x underscore one the slope of the line defined by the linear equation a x plus b y plus c equals 0 display style x plus by plus c equals 0 is Minus a b display style frac a b. Two lines are parallel if and only if they are not the same line, coincident, and either their slopes are equal or they both are vertical, and therefore both have undefined slopes. Two lines are perpendicular if the product of their slopes is minus one or one has a slope of zero, a horizontal line, and the other has an undefined slope, a vertical line. The angle theta between minus ninety degrees and ninety degrees that a line makes with the x-axis is related to the slope m as follows: m equals tan theta display style m equals tan theta and theta equals arctan m display style theta equals arctan m 
This is the inverse function of tangent, see inverse trigonometric functions. Topic Examples For example, consider a line running through the points 2, 8, and 3, 20. This line has a slope, m, of 20 minus 8 3 minus 2 equals 12 display style frac 228 3 to 2 equals 12 one can then write the line's equation in point slope form y minus 8 equals 12 x minus 2 equals 12 x minus 24 Display style y eight equals twelve x two equals twelve by minus twenty four or y equals twelve x minus sixteen. Display style y equals twelve by minus sixteen. The angle theta between minus 90 degrees and 90 degrees that this line makes with the x-axis is theta equals arctan 12 approximately equals 85.2 Display style theta equals arctan twelve approximately eighty five point two carat circ. Consider the two lines y. Topic minus three x plus one and y. Minus three x minus two. Both lines have slope m equals minus 3. They are not the same line. So they are parallel lines. Consider the two lines y. Minus 3x plus 1 and y x 3 minus 2 the slope of the first line is m1. Topic minus three. The slope of the second line is m2. One third. The product of these two slopes is minus one. So these two lines are perpendicular. Topic Statistics In statistical mathematics, the gradient of the line of best fit for a given distribution of data which is linear, numerical, and free of outliers, is usually written as B equals R S Y S X display style b equals frac r s underscore y s underscore x, where b display style b is defined as the gradient in statistics r display style r is Pearson's correlation coefficient s y display style s underscore y 
is the standard deviation of the y values and s x display style s underscore x is the standard deviation of the x values in this equation y equals a plus b x display style y equals a plus b x for the least squares regression line b display style b is the slope and a display style a is the intercept topic slope of a road or railway main articles grade slope grade separation there are two common ways to describe the steepness of a road or railroad one is by the angle between 0 degrees and 90 degrees in degrees and the other is by the slope in a percentage See also steep grade railway and rack railway. The formulae for converting a slope given as a percentage into an angle in degrees and vice versa are angle equals arctan slope 100 percent Display style text angle equals arctan left frac text slope 100 percent right. This is the inverse function of tangent. See trigonometry and slope equals 100 percent tan angle display style m box slope equals 100% cdot tan m box angle where angle is in degrees and the trigonometric functions operate in degrees for example a slope of 100% or as an angle of 45 degrees a third way is to give one unit of rise in say 10, 20, 50 or 100 horizontal units, e.g. 110, 120, 150 or 1 to 100 or 1 in 10, 1 in 20, etc. Note that 110 is steeper than 120. For example, steepness of 20% means 1 to 5 or an incline with angle 11, 3 degrees. Roads and railways have both longitudinal slopes and cross slopes. <laughs> Calculus The concept of a slope is central to differential calculus. For nonlinear functions, the rate of change varies along the curve. The derivative of the function at a point is the slope of the line tangent to the curve at the point, and is thus equal to the rate of change of the function at that point. If we let delta x and delta y be the distances along the x and y axis respectively between two points on a curve then the slope given by the above definition m equals delta y delta x Display style m equals frac delta y delta x is the slope of a secant line to the curve. For a line, the secant between any two points is the line itself, but this is not the case for any other type of curve. 
For example, the slope of the secant intersecting y. Topic x two at zero zero and three nine is three. The slope of the tangent at x three halves is also three. A consequence of the mean value theorem. By moving the two points closer together so that delta y and delta x decrease, the secant line more closely approximates a tangent line to the curve, and as such the slope of the secant approaches that of the tangent. Using differential calculus, we can determine the limit, or the value that delta y, delta x approaches as delta y and delta x get closer to zero, it follows that this limit is the exact slope of the tangent. If y is dependent on x, then it is sufficient to take the limit where only delta x approaches zero. Therefore, the slope of the tangent is the limit of delta y, delta x as delta x approaches zero, or di, dx. We call this limit the derivative d y d x equals lim delta x. Zero delta y delta x display style frac die dx equals lim underscore delta x to zero frac delta y delta x its value at a point on the function gives us the slope of the tangent at that point. For example, let y equals x2. A point on this function is minus 2, 4. The derivative of this function is di, dx equals 2x. So the slope of the line tangent to y at minus 2, 4 is 2 minus 2. Topic minus four. The equation of this tangent line is y four equals minus four x minus two or y four x four. Topic Other generalizations. The concept of slope can be generalized to functions of more than one variable and is more often referred to as gradient. Topic. See also. Euclidean distance. Inclined plane. Linear function. Line of greatest slope Slope definitions Thiel-Sen estimator, a line with the median slope among a set of sample points <laughs>